this is Susan Leventero. This reading is going to be for those who are single and ready to mingle. <laughs> um, I did one for Pisces. It was like uh, 50 and older, but I feel like um, uh, I want to do this for uh, all the signs. Okay. And uh, Okay, so th this reading is going to be for people who are single, who um, uh, are ready to kind of uh, explore um, new territory with uh, getting out there again. Okay, so this could be, who can this be? It can be anybody, really. Uh, but uh, maybe it could be for, uh, for instance, uh, someone who... Uh, was uh, divorced and then uh, st stayed, um, uh, did a, a period of self-reflection and then it turned into, <laughs> that's what they said, it turned into more than self-reflection and it just was like comfortable and, um, but uh, really desiring to uh, be with somebody. Okay. All right. So. Um, okay, so how I'm going to approach this is, okay, okay, all right, so I'm going to do, pull a card, what yoga, this is a land and sky oracle, what yoga or what thing could uh, potentially um, assist Okay, and then I'm going to pick an adventure card. Okay, and the kind of person it might be. Okay, so let's do that. I mix these cards. I don't know which way is front of them. <laughs> They're all mixed in. I don't know how that happened, but. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try not to. Uh, I'm going to try to get all the signs in here. Okay, so let's start with Aries. Okay, so let's see what type of person. Okay, so I feel like uh, Aries, it might be someone from a different culture because here it says beyond religion. So it could be someone from a different culture, Aries. Okay. Okay, so I'm picking up water sign or Scorpio specifically here. Okay. I'm going to uh I'm going to tap into this a minute. Just give me a minute. Okay. Secret of Secrets. Oh, this came out in a reading. It was like Aries was holding uh secrets, secret desires. Okay, was withholding and not <clears throat> not showing okay so seeing God okay fully connected okay but also uh, someone uh, that you come together with is fully connected to and this this figure here to me looks like a sheep so it might be a sheep sign for the Chinese zodiac uh, or is that goat Wow Okay, so I'm picking up Taurus energy, but I feel like that's cusping energy for Aries. Okay. All right, so sheep and goat I'm picking up. Okay. And uh, earth sign. 
Any earth sign. Okay. I'm picking up. All right. So, uh, okay. So I feel like this is the challenge here. Um, if you have a water sign in your chart, you want to make sure uh, that you uh, open up and um, find new ways of communicating gently. Okay. All right. And, uh, and then uh, move with your heart open. Okay. And share what it is you feel in your heart moving forward okay and i really feel strongly here it's someone from a different culture because it says beyond religion so it might be uh someone with different religious backgrounds or it doesn't have to be religion even it could be a spiritual person now Okay, so for some of you, you see love as an enemy. Okay, so let's look into that for a minute. Hold on. Oh, okay. This is an anger card. So watch out for extreme anger. Okay. All right. What else am I picking up? Hold on. Okay. So if you just move in a lustful way without opening your heart uh, and moving in love, then, <clears throat> okay, uh, you may not have a positive outcome here. That's what it's suggesting. So move with love. Okay, so if it's just passion, they're suggesting that it could easily, that passion can turn into anger quickly because there's no love there. Okay, so watch out for that. Okay, Aries, that's what it, the suggestion is here. Okay. And if you have a water sign in your chart, what you want to do is uh, align those energies. Okay, so if you have Scorpio in your chart, you want to um, align that with your Aries. Okay. So it's like balancing family. If it's Scorpio, it's balancing that family life and letting that not dominate over your desire for love for some of you here. All right. So there's that. But I feel like it's someone who is spiritual also. All right. So let's see your yoga here. Okay. This card fell out. These two. What is that? Asteya, non-stealing. Okay, uh, and I think that is like a coveting card. I can't remember. Okay, and Dayana, meditation. Ooh, okay, yeah. I feel like that's very important here, meditating. All right, so let's go ahead and pull one more. Okay, white sage. Cleanse. Oh, okay. I remember this has been coming up in readings. Okay. Uh, okay. So white sage cleanse and comma and beauty. Okay. So as you purify your thoughts, right, and move with a clean, clear canvas, clean slate, and allow your natural positivity, your high vibing self to be emanating then that's what you will attract, this beautiful sacred flower, okay? And, um, and, it, and it is the beauty. But if you're harboring any kind of uh, thoughts of um, 
um, jealousy, anger, grudge, um, those things. Okay. Uh, just say um, that does not exist or something like that. Find a phrase uh, that will assist you there. Okay. If that even exists or if that's even you, right? Okay. Okay, so let's, I feel like I, I'm, there's something here. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay. Astea, abundance and gratitude. This raccoon claims this blue egg in the shadows of the night. Okay, so it's like uh, grabbing for material possessions. Okay, but can even be as subtle as um, okay. Hmm. I don't know about that. Okay. Hold on. Let me try to rephrase this. I don't know if I agree with this. Okay. Okay, so, oh, I get it. Now I get it. Okay, non-stealing. Okay, being late to meetings. Okay. All right, I totally get it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so basically this is a call for knowing your intentions when you do things. Okay, so it's like, sometimes when you feel like you have an entitlement to things, uh, then that can cause that kind of grabbing energy. Okay, uh, right. Okay, so for example, you might intentionally go to work late or intentionally do something due to a distorted thought okay and i don't want to go into more details that we're just trying to uh, shift that energy so we can come into the love that is here okay all right so um okay so um okay so now whereas ideas i feel like we're all one body right so I feel like when it comes to ideas, it's like there's a sprinkling in the ethers and then some people are the first receivers and some people are, are uh, it trickles, uh, you know, later on in the timelines. So uh, there's that. Okay, so... Um, so understanding that it's like a co-creation and that what we create here um, is charged by this non-physical energy that is also us too. But there's like some kind of like a humbleness energy that's not, I'm feeling like non-selfishness and uh, humble energy I'm getting here. Okay, so... Oh, okay, so this is, consider your actions, consider your actions, what you're doing when no one is looking. Oh, okay. This is kind of like uh, in another deck, uh, like uh, spiritual narcolepsy, okay, uh, the way I, I picked it up. I didn't read the book, so, okay, but, okay, so it's like, Acting one way, okay, it's like acting one way and then showing a different face. Okay, so it's like, um, okay, let's say you're exchanging a conversation with someone, right? And they ask you a question and you don't tell them the truth, something like that, right? Okay. So that's like 
kind of pretending like that person isn't that clear energy that's non-physical. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. So, because that non-physical side of that person is seeing the truth. Okay. So, it's like approaching... Um, Approaching them as something less than the pure source. Okay. I don't know if that's making sense here. Okay, let me try to dig deeper there. Hold on. Example, please. Thank you. Okay, sometimes it's done out of fear of how the person is going to react. So you might say something different than the truth. Okay, so there's that. Okay. Or saying something to get your way or a control thing. Okay. Okay, let's use Christmas. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I I I I I, op I knocked on so many doors. Okay, so many. <laughs> I was trying to find the right one, and I think I found the right one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's like this. Let's say that you invited a bunch of people over for dinner, right? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and okay. So, okay, so what you did was you actually catered it. You ordered everything, okay? You ordered everything from this caterer, okay? And you had them deliver it <laughs> secretly in the back door. <laughs> secretly in the back door. <laughs> okay. So, because you wanted to, let's say you just wanted to look good, okay? And so, you, you, you all the times that you did it before, you were like, <laughs> looking like you went, went through a, <laughs> a, looking pretty rough. Okay, so you wanted, it was important to you to look nice, okay? And present and have a coming together. So, all right. So, all right. So, then you all gather around the table, <clears throat> right? And then, um... And then, okay, uh, so no one even asked you, um, you know, um, how this cooking went or anything. And then you, you say, oh, oh, I worked so hard on this, um, cooking this, you know, for like, uh, I cooked for four hours or something like that, right? Okay. All right, now. So that's kind of like that... Um, not it's kind of like um thinking that you're putting the wool over someone's eyes okay but they're that non-physical pure energy so even if the human part is uh is going along with your thing um spirit is seeing it okay all right so there's that so you want to kind of Move in purity, okay, so that you can attract this, the beauty, right? Okay. <laughs> and meditate, connect with spirit, right? And then those kinds of things 
uh, wouldn't even come into your experience. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's something like that. Okay. So you want to make sure that, um, that those are the kind of things you, um, move in your truth. Okay. All right. Wow. That ended up being really long. Okay. Aries. Okay. So, so I feel like the kind of person that is going to be drawn to you is, um, this white sage. Okay. Kind of a sage kind of energy, spiritual. All right. <laughs> Woo. That was deep berries. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, all right, so now we're going on to, <laughs> you know what, it might be because of the season, like we're getting ready to close out the the winter, right, and then coming into new, so it's like, it's kind of, uh, I feel like in all the readings, it's kind of like, uh, it started a while ago for me, uh, picking it up. It was like the ghost from Christmas past and then um, and then kind of revisiting everything and and we're deciding where you're going to move next and releasing all that stuff that was really dense. That was uh, kind of lower vibrating. OK, so I feel like that's what we're moving towards is a lighter, lighter, freer future. And now, OK, <laughs> OK, Taurus. Woo! Covered soul. Okay, that's that protection, needing to protect. Okay, we'll talk about that. Okay, tolerance. Okay, yep. <clears throat> Immovable Himalayas. Okay. Sacred Ohm. Yep. Okay. Pearls on a thread. Okay, yeah. Okay, beautiful. Okay. So, I feel like you're going to be attracting a, a musician type, I feel like. A musician type. For some of you. Okay, which is kind of out of the ordinary, I would say. Because um, I feel like that is the... Ooh, Uranus energy, doing something different. Okay, so uh, this is the thing about that, though. If you're going to be attracting a different type, okay, you're going to want to, it might challenge your stability or need for stability, right, within the relationship, and so you want to be mindful of that. Okay, so what does that look like in 3D? Okay, hold on. Okay, for example, let's say you decided you wanted to try a different type, so you went for a musician. Now, a musician has to travel all over the world, right? So you have to kind of be strong in your own energy uh, and not let your mind wander in uh, those kind of uh, shadowy places, um, you know, like jealousy and things like that, right? Okay, so in order to protect yourself... Okay, feeling insecure in that, then you might uh, reach for extreme fire energy. Okay, so if you're going to choose somebody uniquely different with that Uranus energy in uh, moving with you, what you want to do is stabilize your own energy and be comfortable in that. Raise your self-esteem. Raise your self-worth, self-love. Okay, do all that first and then move. Okay, now, here's the tolerance card. Okay. Oh, this is what I just, uh, uh, okay, said in the ending part of the, <laughs> what they gave me at the ending part of Aries. Okay. Okay. Okay, so maybe you might want to go see Aries. Okay, so, 
Okay. So anything that happened in the past that it was unwanted, okay, over time it disappears, right? It's like coming and going of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perception and the one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. Okay. All right. Now, last night they gave me the story of Persephone, the Greek story. Okay. So that came out in a reading, uh, one of your readings. Okay. So, and that was equivalent to the changing of the seasons, which I found fascinating. So if you have been getting like, um, the Scorpio card, which is kind of like the death and rebirth card, okay, or tower card even, that is this winter period, and then moving into a spring-like or summer-like energy, okay. Now, in the Greek stories, Persephone, I think, was the one who went underground, okay. So, that's like a, a period of rest and renewal to kind of bring in the new, okay, to rebirth the new, Okay, so with that, okay, with that change, okay, I feel like um, it's like bring the summer and spring into your now moment, that feeling, okay, and then make the moves, okay. So releasing pa the past and making peace with it, knowing that through time and laying down a new foundation, that will fall away. Okay, woo, okay, immovable Himalayas. So this is you, I feel like, climbing the mountain. Okay, so it could be that um, some of you are in Capricorn energy. Okay, so, all right. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, but some of you may actually attract a Capricorn also through that past. Okay, so, okay. Okay, and I got the song, Sound of Music, I Can Climb Any Mountain, la, 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 la. Is that the one where the nun sings? Okay, I, I don't remember. Okay, all right, so here we go. All right, Sacred Ohm. Okay, I feel like for some of you, you're going to meet somebody on a spiritual journey. Okay. Okay, here's the Sacred Ohm. But, you know... Um, for some of you, what I'm getting is healing modalities. Okay. So healing mo modalities is what I'm picking up. So for example, you might meet somebody uh, at a sound convention for healing. Uh, I'm picking up. Okay. So, uh, or um, like some sort of like uh, Reiki or yoga gathering. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm picking up musician again heavily. So jazz musician for some. Okay. Um, it's like tuning into the sounds of the universe and then meeting your musician to dance with. Wow. Okay. Okay. Pearls on a thread. So I feel like all those times were your pearls of wisdom that you were uh, bringing together. And so here you are with the pearls on the thread emanating brightly, okay? And, um, oh, a little box. Okay, so, um, okay, so emanating brightly. Okay, and I'm picking up peacock. So you might want to go look at peacock symbolism, okay? So it's like the new beauty that is you is what I'm picking up for that peacock is the new beauty that is you is emanating from within to without. So whereas before, um, it was just, I feel like, uh, just kind of a, a covering, right? But now it is coming from within to without. Okay. Yes. Yes. 